Hey everybody, what is up? It is Bully and welcome back to my channel. We're back with today's drama video because, oh God, guess what? We have got more influencers out partying because it was Nikita Dragon's 25th birthday. She's been saying that, oh, you know, it's my 21st and all this drama. It's my 21st. Here's my birthday collection with the pink palette and the glosses and stuff like that. But then she threw a massive house party last night where Tana Mojo was in attendance and they were snogging. I mean, girl, I pray for the person who snogs Tana Mojo because Tana, she's been everywhere. This whole pandemic, right? Tana has been everywhere. And she's also friends with that Ava Louise girl who licked a toilet seat and went viral scummy very very scummy tana mm. i'd be afraid to kiss tana under normal circumstances because i think i'd catch something genuinely like ew. so it was actually patrick star who was kissing tana mojo patrick star has been called out a few times during this pandemic for partying for throwing a christmas party for his employees his entourage also for collabing with people People have literally been dragging Patrick on Reddit. Also, he got dragged completely in his own YouTube video. The one where he uploaded it and it was a Christmas party for his entourage, his staff, whatever. The comments in that video alone, he was being dragged so much that he actually removed that video. Now here he is at Nikita Dragon's birthday party snogging Tana Mojo of all people. Patrick should really, really be a better example and speaking of being a better example Tana Mojo actually put up an apology a few months ago about all the partying in this pandemic about that behavior she threw up an apology on her IG stories which I'm going to pop in here for you she threw that up and now here she is again partying in a pandemic snogging Patrick Starr these people have got no care for anybody else. They're selfish. They have got no care, no thought for anybody else. A few days ago, Laura Lee uploaded a video about her mum, very sadly, passing away from COVID. And here are these people, Patrick Starr, mind you, and Nikita Dragon, who are friends or were friends with Laura Lee. Her mum passed away from COVID. That was their friend. And here they are not giving two shits about any of it. Like what? I find that really bad. I've, no, I don't like that. You know, to me, that just says you've got no thought for anyone else's health or anything like that. And you're just careless. You don't care. That's it, period. But anyway, moving on. Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star uploaded a YouTube video yesterday showing off his new glosses. A lot of people have said that the applicator looks like lady parts, and it does. When I saw the applicator, the first thing that I said was, well, that looks like my pussy, honestly, because it does. So Jeffree went on in his reveal video, showed the shades, everything like that. I actually think now... Don't cancel me for this, but I actually think the product looks nice. I like the packaging and I like a lot of the shades. That looks like something that I would actually want to buy. I mean, it is Jeffree Star. It is Jeffree Star's brand. So will I buy it? Well, I've said Jeffree Star's getting no more of my coin because of all of his recent behaviour and all the drama and the fact that he hasn't addressed certain things yet. So, I don't know. But that aside, Jeffrey aside, if you take Jeffrey out of the equation completely, the product itself is something that I would look at. It's something that I would be intrigued by if it was, at say, a Mac counter or something like that. I would want to go and look at it. I would want to go and test it out. It looks appealing, but of course, we're in a pandemic as well. People are not really wearing glosses. I mean, I've just put one on in here, but I'm sitting in my house, you know, I'm not putting a mask on and going out. 
but of course the glosses will have been created before the pandemic all of that stuff so jeffrey really can't help that we can't you know drag someone for that but will they sell i don't know with the timing of it i don't know but let's talk about jeffrey's video now jeffrey's video he was sitting there i watched peter mon's video yesterday after jeffrey had uploaded his video and peter mon said he looked like faye dunaway playing Joan Crawford in Mummy Dearest and oh my god I can't unsee that now and it really made me think like these recent looks that Jeffrey's been doing yes he does very much look like Joan Crawford or Faye Dunaway playing Joan Crawford in Mummy Dearest I love that film I love that film I mean if you're queer or if you're into drag you will know that film and I love that film Tina One thing I am going to touch on here with these new Supreme Gloss that Jeffrey's bringing out, there was a pale yellow shade in there. It was called Urethra. If that was me, if that was my brand, I just would have been done with it and called it Water Sports. You know, if you're going to go there, take it there. If you're going to take it there, do it. You know, don't go 50% bottle out and call it Urethra. Go for it. Call it Water Sports why not you know kids under 18 who are not into that kind of thing they probably don't know what it means just go for it you know if you're going to be inappropriate with it whatever do it i would if it was my brand that's what i would call it but it's not it's jeffrey's brand and he's called this beigey yellow gloss urethra i'm like hmm meh about that you know as i said water sports would have been my choice the actual video itself, the actual reveal video, I thought that was done really nicely. I liked the little intro video as well that he posted on Instagram the day before. That kind of thing is up my alley. I personally enjoy that kind of thing. So for me, that was just like artistic and cool and I thought that was great, loved it. But, you know, some people might not like that and that's fine sorry i've moved it's the time when people want to go to bed upstairs now so i'm gonna to have to wrap this one up soon but do let me know what you think about the jeffree star stuff let me know what you think about all the partying with nikita dragon and her birthday party and all that stuff i'm kind of shocked at patrick star if i'm honest i really like by now you'd think god patrick star you're getting on a bit you know you should kind of be doing better and be knowing better with your platform and the fact that Tana Mojo's come out and said oh I don't deserve a platform if I'm going to do this kind of behavior a couple of months ago but is now back doing that same behavior it just proves she doesn't give a shit about anyone or anything she's going to continue to do it I think just like Nikita Dragon will Nikita Dragon is another one who has shown us time and time and time again that she just doesn't give a shit so let me know all your thoughts and opinions on that in the comments down below in other kind of beauty guru news, beauty guru gossip, we've had Amanda Ensing being dropped by Sephora. Now, I haven't actually gone into Reddit and looked at this yet, but everyone's talking about it on Twitter. Everyone's laughing at the fact that she's been dropped by Sephora because of her comments when people were storming the Capitol on January the 6th. She was, you know, being like really kind of in your face about it. And she was putting up a load of religious stuff connecting that to Donald Trump. People didn't like that. There was also a comment that she made which said something like, oh, there's not enough popcorn in the world for what's about to happen. Everyone was just like jaw floor at that comment because to say that when there's all that stuff going on, people behaving like terrorists and you'd think it's, oh yeah, I'll sit here and spectate with my popcorn she's her priorities her kind of beliefs and everything like that is definitely not something that i would align myself with she's very outspoken fine fine being outspoken that's fine you know drama channels gossip channels whatever you want to call us we will come on the internet and we talk our shit so you know influencers can talk theirs as well but for amanda ensing she's now finding that brands don't want to work with her look sephora have just dropped her i mean i don't necessarily think 
people should be dropped from brands PR and stuff because they're conservative. I don't necessarily think that, but in the case of Amanda Ensing, she was irresponsible with her platform. She was stupid and she was coming for people. So yeah, I do kind of think that she deserved to get dropped by Sephora because you can't behave like that. When you're a beauty guru and you're working with all these different brands, it's about image. And that's not an image that most brands would want to put out, that they're racist, homophobic, bigoted. You know, most people would not want to put that out about themselves. But Amanda Ensing has been seen liking comments that are homophobic, racist. I'm going to pop something in here as well because I found a comment that she'd liked that was particularly homophobic. That is really just not a good look, you know, especially in the beauty space. You know, you've got lots of gay men, you've got lots of queer people, gay men in makeup, everything like this. And then you're being homophobic. I'm sorry. You know, it is 2021. We have not got time for racism, homophobia, any of that shit. Bye-bye. Okay, so here was the comment that Amanda had hearted on one of her YouTube videos. It is really homophobic, but I'm going to read it out just to show you. This is the kind of shit that she's been doing. And this is what people are angry at Amanda for, not for the fact that she is conservative. So this comment was posted on one of Amanda's YouTube videos by somebody called Amanda Johnson. The comment reads, all these democratic rats in the comments saying Trump shows hate. Well, you'll do too. You're mad because Trump don't kiss ass and I will never vote for a Democrat who thinks it's okay for two men to be married and a woman can carry until a third trimester and terminate the baby. Like Amanda said, I don't know what Bible you read in. So that comment was clearly homophobic and that was a comment that Amanda herself went and hearted on one of her YouTube videos. Now, they also brought religion into it. I assume Christianity because they said, oh, I don't know what Bible you're reading at the end of that comment. Now, to do that is implying that, you know, Christians can't be gay or, you know, Christians can't accept gay people or queer people. I'm sorry, but to me, that's not Christianity. If you're talking about people who are homophobic and don't accept queer people, that is not Christianity to me. So why are they trying to tie religion to it? And linking religion and all of that into Trump, it is a mess. Anyway, guys, it is getting late here now, so I'm going to have to stop this video here, but I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well. Hope you're all having a great Sunday, wherever you are, whatever time it is, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.